Welcome back everyone. Today we'll be looking at having the cost function and also having the average cost function to find the marginal cost function. Let's get started. So when we talk about cost functions, we have to talk about variable costs, where the expense of how much company produce or sell, it varies. So it can increase the cost based on the production rising or decrease the cost based on the production falling. For example, labor and utility expenses. So variable costs, it fluctuates, it changes based on whatever is happening. Now, fixed costs never change. So it doesn't matter what's happening with the company, how much is being produced, the cost will never change. So for example, rent or property tax, you know, it doesn't matter. It's the cost is independent of the company's specific activities, the business activities. So total cost is variable cost plus fixed cost. And the variable cost literally means that there is a variable on the function while fixed cost is a constant. Now, when we talk about marginal cost function, we talk about finding the derivative of the total cost function. Now, we denote this as C prime, that tells us that it is a derivative. And uh, once you find the derivative, what it's saying is the actual cost incurred in producing an additional unit. Let's look at an example. If the total cost function for a manufacturer is given by CQ equal 7Q square plus 9Q plus 3000, first we need to find the marginal cost function followed by what is the marginal cost when Q equal 20 and then C interpret your answer in part B. Let's start with part A where we find the marginal cost function. Now, to find the marginal cost function, I need to differentiate. So once you differentiate, then this represents the marginal cost, which is C prime. So differentiating this 7Q squared, that's going to give me 14Q, because you say 2 times 7, 14, and subtract 1 from the power. Differentiate 9Q, I will get 9, and then differentiate 3,000, that's 0. Now this represents the marginal cost function. Now the next part says, what is the marginal cost when Q equal 20? So I need to substitute Q equal 20 in part A. So substituting, so I'll be finding when Q is 20, what's my marginal cost? So I'll have 14 times 20, plus nine. So 14 times 20, that's 280 plus nine, that will give me $289. So that's the marginal cost. Now, what does this mean? That's what part C is asking us. So it states that the marginal cost at Q equal 20 means the approximate cost of producing the 21st goods is $289, or we can see for an additional good, there is an increase in cost of $289. So this is the interpretation. So average cost function, it's coming from the cost function. And the first symbol, C with a line above it, is the symbol for average cost is equal to total cost divided by the quantity. And that's how we find the average cost. So the next question I have here, I'll be looking at having the average cost to find the marginal cost function. Now, the question states, if the average cost function for accessory companies given by 
This is the average cost function, 50Q minus 10 plus 5,000 over Q, where Q is the number of claims manufactured, and C bar, with a line above it, is expressed in dollars per pen. I need to find the marginal cost function, then find the marginal cost when Q equals 10. Now, if you realize that you are given the average cost function, that's different from the previous activity, I have to multiply this by Q to get my cost function using this formula. So multiplying average cost times the quantity will give me my cost function. So I need to find cost function first. So I'm going to multiply 50Q minus 10 plus 5,000 over Q. All of that represents the average cost function. And if I times it by Q, I will get my cost function. So it means I multiply 5,000 Q times Q. That gives me 5,000 Q squared. Then I multiply minus 10 times Q. That gives me minus 10 Q. I'm multiplying Q times 5,000 Q. The Qs cancel. So I'm just left with 5,000. So I'll have here plus 5,000. So this represents a cost function. So the marginal cost, so I'll have 50Q squared, so 2 times 50, that's 100. And subtract 1 from the power, so I'm left with Q minus 10Q, differentiate that to get minus 10, and differentiating this to get 0. So this represents a marginal cost function. And now we need to find the marginal cost when Q equals 10. So when Q is equal to 10, I am going to substitute into the marginal cost function and that will give me the value. So I'll have 100 times 10 minus 10. So 100 times 10, that's 1,000. And then minus 10, so I will have $990, and this represents the marginal cost function. Now, what does this mean? The marginal cost at Q equal 10, meaning the marginal cost at the number of pens or the marginal cost at which we have 10 pens being manufactured means the approximate cost of producing the 11th good is $990. Or we can say for an additional, instead of goods, I can say additional pens manufactured, there is an increasing cost of $990. And that's it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.